New York is known as the Big Apple. Atlanta is the Big Peach. Where I am right now should be known as the Big Pineapple. Why? Because this wonderful building, this Tokaloch, looks like a pineapple, an anan. The Earth Pineapple near in Eklish Vreach, Falkirk in Eklish Vreach, was built for the fourth Earl of Dunmore, John Murray, in the mid to late 1770s. This building was a Tai Sauri, a summer house, Tai Sauri, for the Earl's wife, Lady Charlotte. Time to find out more about this tokaloch from head gardener Louise Arnett. Do you know why it was built in the first place? We're well, not quite sure. Um... It's possibly just been built as a folly. John Murray, the fourth Earl, went to represent his country in the colonies. He was governor of Virginia, New York and the Bahamas at various points in the mid to late 1700s. And there's some connection with the eastern seaboard and pineapples being a symbol of welcome and of friendship. It seems to have come from sailors. It was a means of letting the world know that they were back from their voyages. It was stuck on gateposts or on the doorsteps or whatnot. But you don't necessarily know where it came from. How, how did that myth or tradition start? It kind of gets lost in time. It's fine quality stone. It's not had an awful lot of work done to it in those years since it was constructed, which leads me to think it's been designed and built by masters rather than just local stonemasons. It's funny to think that something as familiar to us as an anam, pineapple, could have meant so much to people in the past. And you can even eat it. And it can be a topic that really divides people. It can be quite controversial. Pineapple on a pizza, yes or no? If I want my own, yeah, ham and pineapple is, uh, not, it's not necessarily a first choice, but if I'm with friends, it's a definite no. The anine, that's plural for anown, anine, were so precious in those days that quite often people wouldn't even eat them. They would just look at them as though they were a piece of art. Or maybe some flowers. For you, Joy.